Are you wasting time manually archiving completed envelopes into a folder or another app? Super boring. And I'm sure that you and your team have much better things to do. So if you wished that the documents could magically flow uh, and get saved into your systems without leaving a finger, then this video is for you. If you're new to this channel, my name is Sofian. I'm the founder of Solisan Consulting, a digital transformation consultancy that helps investment advisors, funds, and lending firms automate complex document workflows and manual processes. And if you want to learn more about how we do this, you can check out the links in the description of the video to book a strategy um, complimentary session with me. What happens for most DocuSign users is that once the documents are completed by all parties and become final PDFs, then those documents continue to live in their DocuSign account. And that's because it's time consuming and manual to export them and place them where you actually would like them to be ideally. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you the three different ways that you can automate the process of archiving PDF copies of your completed documents into wherever you want them to go. So you can accomplish this with a third party tool. This first option works with any level of DocuSign uh, subscription and offers you the most flexibility. You can connect your DocuSign account with a third-party tool like Zapier, Microsoft Power Automate, Integromat, there's a couple of options out there, and themselves connect with hundreds of different apps. So as long as you get your DocuSign hooked up with one of those, then those apps integrate with all the CRMs and databases that you can think of. So for example, you could choose to save your documents automatically in Google Drive and um, also um, attach the PDF document to your HubSpot or um, Opportunity in Salesforce or any other app that you can think of. The con of this option is that you need to pay for um, this, um, this, this app that's gonna allow you to automate um, the workflow but it's well worth it, trust me. It costs, it starts at about, I think, $20 per month. And so compared, if you, if you look at the time that you're gonna be saving using that tool, it's absolutely nothing. Now, the second way that you can automate your uh, documents to flow into the uh, cloud-based folder of your choice is to use DocuSign itself. Depending on the type of subscription that you're on, you're gonna get access to something called agreement rules. Now, agreement rules are only available in the highest DocuSign a tier and you can only integrate with a couple of different apps so I think they've only got DocuSign CLM, uh, OneDrive, Dropbox and Google Drive so there aren't that many options but you could follow that path if you wanted to. And finally the third option is to create a custom integration between DocuSign and the application of your choice. So why would you choose to go with a custom integration rather than um, an integration with a third-party app? Well, Zapier, Power Automate, and Integromat all have limitations. So let's say that you want your sales contract to be automatically stored in a software that doesn't have an integration with Zapier and, or DocuSign. So when this happens, you need to create a custom integration to get the documents and trigger any other actions um, to your liking. But in this video, we'll focus on the first two options since the third option requires programming uh, knowledge. But for now, we'll take a look at how to integrate DocuSign with Google Drive using Zapier. All right, so the very first thing that we wanna do is to decide where we want our uh, agreements to be saved uh, and we wanna prepare the folder. So in this particular uh, example, I'm gonna use uh, additional subscription agreements. So this is the field where um, investors enter the amount they want to subscribe in the fund and then depending on the type of investor the spouse or themselves need to sign and then the uh, general partner will need to countersign the document as well. So I've already gone ahead and created a folder in Google Drive that I've called additional subscriptions and um, you could use any other app um, of your choice, doesn't have to be Drive, could be OneDrive, could be Dropbox, could be Box, could be anything else that you deem secure enough to um, place your um, investors' um, documents or, or clients' uh, agreements. So once this is ready, the second step is to uh, customize the template in DocuSign. So I hope that by now you've already got your template. If you're not sure what templates are, um, I strongly recommend that you enroll in my free DocuSign crash course, which will teach you um, about templates, envelopes, fields, and all of that. 
it's completely free. There's the link in the description down below. But for now, I'm gonna consider, um, assume that you know how to build templates and use templates. So my DocuSign templates here contain my uh, additional subscription document but I don't need to worry about the signing uh, workflow. This doesn't impact the integration at all. What I want to do is to add a text field or any other field actually, um, and make it read only and set the uh, font color to white. And I'm gonna add the number one in the field. And I'm also gonna call this, say, uh, this field save in Google um, Drive. For example, you can call it whatever you want. This is going to be the condition that uh, is going to be looked for by the automated solution to determine whether or not this envelope needs to be saved into a specific folder. And so now that this is done, I'll just click on next and save. And now I'll go to my Zapier account and I'll create a new Zap and I'll call this Zap save additional subscription agreements into Google Drive, for example, but you can call it whatever you like. So the trigger event will be DocuSign, of course, because it's when the DocuSign envelopes are completed that um, Zapier will um, should, should trigger the automation. And I'm gonna select sent envelopes are completed and continue. And then I'll choose my DocuSign account for the status of the envelope, I only want this to be, um, I only want the document to be saved once the document is completed. So I'll select completed and download form data. I'm gonna set this to yes. Then I'll click on continue. We can see it's found an envelope uh, called additional subscription agreement. I'm gonna click on continue. And then I'm going to set up my um, filter first before I set up my action. So a filter will tell Zapier what envelopes to save and the ones that they should filter out of the automation. So I'm gonna click on filter and then I'm gonna t tell Zapier to look for the field called save in Google Drive. And I only want Zapier to continue if this field contains the value number one and then I'll click on continue. Great, and the next step will be to set up the action. So this is where I tell Zapier what I want um, the automation to do. And so I want to upload a file, which is my um, additional subscription PDF. I'm gonna look for the uh, folder now where I want Zapier to save the file. And so my folder is the demo folder but inside of the demo folder, there is an additional subscription folder. So that's the one that I want. For the file, I'm gonna look for the file link. And for the file name, this is really cool because you can set the naming convention. So what you can do here is uh, maybe write additional subscription for and then enter, um, merge the, uh, one of the DocuSign fields. So I've got a field in there which is called investor name. So then we have um, additional subscription for and the name .pdf. Now, before I click on test and review, I'm gonna split my screen so that you can see the document arriving live into the Google Drive folder. All right, let's click on test and almost instantly the document appeared and it's been renamed, so you don't have to do it yourself, which is absolutely fantastic. Who likes to rename documents? And if we open it, we can see that's the signed uh, document, it's the burnished one. We can't see the field that I've added on the document either, so that's great. And that's basically how you can save a ton of time without having to um, manually archive completed documents into cloud folders. So we've seen how to do this with Zapier. Now let's take a look at how you can do exactly the same thing or more or less the same thing with DocuSign alone using agreement rules. So you'll need to go to the uh, settings tab of your DocuSign account and then look for agreement uh, actions. First, you want to set up a new connection. So you click on connection and then you connect a new app. So let's just say that I'm going to collect uh, Google Drive. So now that my Google Drive account is connected, I can go to my roles and set up a new role. 
for the name of the rule, I'll just say sale sales contract into Google Drive. So here you can use various triggers. Um, the one I'm gonna use in this example is the template, which means that any envelopes completed with that template um, should go into, uh, I mean, should trigger the role. So I'm gonna select my template. Let's just say I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna go with um, an investment uh, fund template. And then for the action, this is where you uh, choose your Google Drive and uh, then you select the actual uh, drive that you want to save the uh, file to. And if you want to customize the path and file name, you can do the same thing uh, by clicking here. And then you click on save. And that's basically your agreement rule um, setup. And if you can't use either Zapier or DocuSign to um, do the things that you wanna do automatically, then you'll need to create a custom integration. And you can reach out to us if this is something you are interested in. And that's it. The documents will now be automatically saved into the right folder as soon as someone sends an envelope using that template. In the next video, I will share with you how you can automatically export the data that's in the DocuSign envelopes into the spreadsheet of your choice to save you even more time. And if you'd like more help with setting up your account or optimizing your template, getting more out of the DocuSign uh, tool or automating more of your sales process, then check out my DocuSign implementation program. It's a place where you'll be able to attend uh, weekly group coaching calls to get answers to all your burning questions. You can also book a complimentary one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation with me when you need, where we can take a deep dive into your account and rebuild templates together. You'll also get access to my online video tutorials, which go into a lot more depth than my YouTube videos. So if you really want to master DocuSign today for yourself or for your team, then book a strategy call with me and I'll speak to you then. Ciao.